Hi there, and welcome to another SourceGraph training video. In this video, we're going to be giving an overview of SourceGraph's AI coding assistant, Cody. Uh, so first, what is Cody? Well, Cody, like I said, is an AI coding assistant that utilizes the universal code graph of SourceGraph's Code AI platform, as well as large language models or LLMs to write code and provide answers based on the context from your code base. Now, SourceGraph's code graph context is really the key to Cody's ability to respond to queries using contextual information from a code base. Cody gathers that context by searching for and reading relevant code files, both within your local project as well as across your entire code base, and leverages an embeddings index of your repositories to generate a deeper understanding of your code. This allows Cody to increase the accuracy and quality of its responses and provide answers specific to your own code base. So Cody can help you answer questions, write code, and even offer suggestions for improving your code. Now, one thing to note is that Cody is currently in beta and we're rapidly shipping updates and improvements. So some of the things that are shown in this video may end up looking or working a bit differently in the final product. Uh, but you can stay up to date on Cody's development by checking out our website at cody.dev. So how does Cody actually work? Um, well, the code graph context was mentioned earlier as really the key component to powering Cody's responses and giving it the ability to understand a code base. So let's dive in a bit more into what the code graph is and how it works. Today, the code graph is made up of two main components. Those are code search and embeddings. In the future, the code graph will also have a few other data sources that Cody can leverage. Um, that would be things like code ownership data, skip indexes, which can provide Cody with compiler accurate code navigation to help with things like ranking and relevance. Um, as well as other code related data like documentation or logs, information from security scanners and more. In Cody's current beta state, we use search and embeddings to generate context and provide responses. So search is first used to run a keyword search across the local file that Cody is being used in, as well as a search across the entire code base via the Zooked index on the source graph instance that Cody is connected to. This gives Cody an understanding of which files are relevant to generate context from. Additionally, embeddings are generated for each repo. Embeddings are vector representations of code and natural language that capture semantic meaning. They allow code to be searched based on semantic similarity using vector search instead of just keyword matching. This provides Cody with the ability to understand the code base more deeply and provide more relevant responses. So Cody leverages both that initial keyword search as well as that embeddings index to generate the context it needs. Then that context window is bundled up and sent over to the LLM provider who then processes the query, runs it through their models and returns the output to Cody. Now that we understand how Cody works, let's dive into everything that Cody can do. Within Cody, there are three core features. Those are chat, commands and fixups, and completions. Now, before we actually dive into all of the features of Cody, I think it's important to first understand the different ways that Cody can be accessed and used. Uh, so first off, Cody is connected to a source graph instance like we talked about earlier. Typically, the, this instance that Cody is connected to will either be sourcegraph.com or a private source graph enterprise deployment within a company or organization's environment and code base. When using sourcegraph.com, this will give you the ability to use Cody on the millions of open source repositories that are indexed on sourcegraph.com. And so you can simply connect the Cody plugin to .com to use its features on those repositories. The second option is connecting Cody to a sourcegraph enterprise deployment. So if you're a developer at an enterprise customer of, of sourcegraph, this is what you would be connecting Cody to so that it can be used on your organization's internal code. And then in terms of actually using Cody, there are a few different clients or ways to, to utilize Cody's features. The first is within the web UI of uh, the sourcegraph application that you've connected Cody to. Um, and then the most common ways are via the editor extensions. So right now we have editor plugins available for both VS Code and the entire JetBrains IDE suite with other editors like Emacs and NeoVim under development. 
Uh, for the purposes of the demo and the features that you're about to see, I'll be running this in VS Code. Um, but in terms of features and parity, uh, it's pretty much the same across all of those clients. All right, let's jump into all of the cool things that Cody can do, starting with the chat feature. Um, so by leveraging that code graph that we talked about earlier, Cody can do things like answer questions about your code, explain your code to you, find functions and components, analyze code blocks, summarize recent changes, help you debug your code, and much, much more. So let's dive into what some of those things look like. So to start, um, I can just open up any local file or project within my editor, and I can open up the Cody plugin as well. When I open the plugin, I'm greeted with this interface here, including this chat box at the bottom. So starting with some questions we can ask Cody, if I want to just understand what this file is and what I'm looking at, I can have Cody explain it to me by just asking a question like, what does this file do? And by using that code graph context, Cody's able to search across my entire code base and leverage the embeddings index for this repository. Uh, to generate its response. And you can see the list of all the files that it referenced uh, to generate the context that it needed. I can ask Cody follow-up questions based on my initial query. I also get prompts for questions I might want to ask, like how does the code work? Or what does this routine do? Or what does this function do? Um, so if I click on one of those, I can ask Cody that question as well. If I want Cody to explain a particular function to me, maybe I want to understand what it's doing within this file. I can simply just take the function name, copy it, and ask Cody about it. So I could just say, hey, explain this to me. And Cody will explain in detail everything that's going on within this function. Within the chat UI, we have a few other features that we can leverage. You'll notice up at the top, we have a few icons. This plus icon here will start a new chat window with Cody, so it'll wipe out your previous conversation. If you want to go back to previous threads or conversations that you've had with Cody, you can click on the chat history icon and simply click to open up one of those previous conversations. This icon here opens up some additional settings if you want to share feedback or reference the Cody documentation, um, as well as the extension settings. Cody also supports the ability to have multiple SourceGraph instances connected to it. So if you want to switch between, say, sourcegraph.com for uh, open source code and your organization's private SourceGraph enterprise deployment, you can do that with a click of a button here. Next up is Cody's commands and fix up feature. So using that knowledge of your code base, Cody can also help you write and fix your code. It can do things like generating unit tests and code documentation, boilerplate code, anything you'd like it to generate, it can use that code graph and do it for you. It can also help you fix your code by editing and improving it using inline instructions. And so we'll walk through how to do each of those things. So starting with commands, there is a few different ways you can leverage commands within Cody. The first is by hitting the slash key in the chat box here. This will open up the command menu. And what this will do is, is run the command that you select against a selected block or snippet of code. So for example, if I select this function here, I can then run a command against it. So I could have Cody do something like explain this code to me. Cody will take that selected code snippet, execute the command against it, and then output the response here. A few other ways I can use commands uh, are by right-clicking on the selected code, hovering over Cody, and then clicking on the command I want. So if I want Cody in this case to document this code for me, Cody will again analyze this code snippet, identify areas where comments need to be added to document the code, and then generate that for me. The third way to access commands is by hitting the key combo Alt-C. This will open up the commands menu where we can access those commands that we saw earlier. This also gives us the ability to configure custom commands. And what's cool about custom commands is that this can be any prompt that you want Cody to run against your selected code. So for example, if I want to create a new command, I can click on the configure custom commands button, new custom user command, I can give it a name. Let's say I want to create a command that uh, lets Cody smell the code that I've selected for any issues. Uh, so we'll call this one smell code, hit enter. 
And then this is where we give Cody the prompt that we want to run against our selected code. In this case, um, I will just give Cody a pretty straightforward one. I'll just say smell the selected code. And then I select the context that Cody wants, that Cody should use when running this command. Uh, by default, it'll obviously be the code that we have selected and I'll also allow it to use the code base for additional context. I'll hit okay. And now that command is saved. So I can go back to that command menu and you'll notice that new command is here now. I click to run it. Cody will now smell this code for me and output it into the chat window. The next feature that Cody can do to help you understand and write code is fix-ups. Uh, so going back to our selected code block here, you'll notice that there's a plus icon. When I click on this, this will open up a new discussion with Cody. What's cool about the way this works is that I can have multiple threads going with Cody at once. So if I wanna ask Cody a question about this code block, I can have that conversation in this thread, and then maybe somewhere else in the file, I could have a different conversation going with Cody, asking him questions about a different part of the file. Within this inline Cody, I also get the ability to run the fixups. So I can do the slash fix to run the fixup command. And then again, any prompt that I want Cody to run, just like in that command that we created. So in this case, I could do something like have Cody add more error handling to this code block. And Cody will analyze this code block, identify where more error handling needs to be added, and then inject that into the, the code block for me. Click apply, and you'll see the generated diff here. And that pretty much covers commands and fixups. So not only can Cody leverage its chat feature to help you answer questions and explain your code, uh, run commands and fixups to help you write and generate code, but it can also suggest code for you as you type using completions. So as you start writing code, Cody will suggest the next few lines for you. And again, it uses that code graph context to understand how the code you're writing should be generated. It also supports multi-line completions. Um, it can infer context from comment blocks, function names, and can generate completed functions for you directly in your editor. Let's dive into what that looks like. Maybe I wanna add an additional case to this function checks if SMTP is disabled and throws an error if so. You'll notice Cody's suggesting the rest of this as I type, and I can just simply hit tab to accept. I can hit enter to open a new line and then have Cody generate the rest of this code for me. Cody can also write complete functions based on context provided to it through comments. So for example, in this new Python file that I created, uh, maybe I want Cody to write a simple bubble sort algorithm for me. So I can just write a comment telling Cody what I want it to do. Start typing a new function and Cody will start generating this for me, including the completed multi-line function. And then I simply just hit tab to accept and I'm ready to go. So that's how to use completions both in line as you're typing in a file or within a new file to prompt Cody to generate completed multi-line functions for you using comments. So that wraps up this Cody overview covering what Cody is and how it works and all of the features available within the tool, chat, commands and fixups, and completions.